Photographs of the far side of the moon surprise scientists because it looks very different from the side we usually see. The far side is covered with craters, which was unexpected and made scientists rethink how the moon formed. People used to see space as a mysterious, unsolvable puzzle. However, advances in technology, like the James Webb Telescope, have opened up new possibilities for exploring space. Some might think we know everything about the moon, especially since we're planning trips to Mars. But the moon has two sides, the familiar near side and the largely unknown far side. This mystery might soon be solved. Space research has changed a lot because of the James Webb Telescope. It has changed how we think about the universe and has accomplished many great things, such as finding thousands of galaxies that not even the Hubble Space Telescope had seen before. Along with its many other accomplishments, it took direct pictures of exoplanets, which taught us a lot about the chance of life beyond our solar system. Another great piece of science technology is the James Webb Telescope. It's one of the most important tools ever made. We have found answers to a lot of questions through it. If the James Webb Telescope can help us learn so much more about galaxies and the solar system, it might be able to do even more for the moon, which is Earth's neighbor in space. This makes me wonder if visiting the dark side of the moon should be just as easy. The name Dark Side of the Moon isn't quite right. In spite of what most people think, it's not called the Dark Side because it doesn't have any light. It's called that because it's strange and unknown. We still don't know everything about this side of the moon. From Earth, the moon always looks the same to us in terms of its surface and traits because of something called synchronized rotation. Only one side of the moon faces Earth at a time. The moon has been tidally locked for billions of years because of the complicated way that Earth's and the moon's gravity pull on each other. To give you more information, tidal bulges happen on the moon's surface because of Earth's gravity. As time went on, these tidal forces slowed the moon's spin until it was locked in place, so the moon's orbital period, which is about 27 days, lines up with its spinning period. From Earth, we can only see the near side. Another popular misunderstanding is that the far side of the moon doesn't get any light, but this isn't the case. The far side gets the same amount of sunlight as the side that faces Earth. People often use dark side and far side to mean the same thing, but far side is more correct. Exploring the far side is not like exploring other sides. Radio waves from Earth can't get through the moon because it is so heavy. This makes direct contact harder. Earth has a breathable atmosphere that lets radio waves move freely. The moon, on the other hand, does not have a breathable atmosphere, so signals are blocked. Real-time missions are hard to control and keep an eye on because there is no direct contact. This makes free exploration harder. However, we're now in a time when persistence in space travel is clear. Countries like the U.S. and China are trying to find out what's on the far side of the moon that we don't know. We have started to make discoveries that lead to new lines of research and speculation. Thanks to their hard work, the question still stands. Will China and the U.S. put aside their personal differences on this exploration trip, or will people get in the way and stop progress? The study of the far side of the moon is not only a scientific project, but also a test of how well countries can work together on one of humanity's biggest journeys. In 2019, China's Chang'e 4 mission became the first spaceship to land on the far side of the moon. This was a big step forward in exploring the moon. A rover called U-22, Jade Rabbit 2, was sent on this journey as part of China's program to explore the moon. One of the most interesting things U-22 found on the moon's surface was an unknown substance that was different from everything else there. Scientists think that this item might be a piece of the moon's mantle, which is the layer between the crust and the core. It is thought that the mantle is made up of heavy, thick rocks that are high in iron and magnesium. If this substance turns out to be a piece of the mantle, it will be a very important scientific finding. It might tell scientists useful things about how the moon works on the inside and the natural processes that made its shape and structure. 
This new information could help us learn a lot more about how the moon formed and how it has changed over time. However, different conspiracy theorists see this finding in different ways. They say that this unknown material could be a sign of more strange possibilities, like the presence of aliens or secret buildings on the far side of the moon. Even though these ideas aren't backed up by science, they show that people are still interested in lunar mysteries. Along with this finding, strange patterns on the moon's surface called lunar swirls have been seen. These patterns are light colors that look like swirls against a dark background. Scientists think that these are made when the magnetic field of the moon interacts with the solar wind. It's interesting that these swirls are only on the moon's near side. This makes the far side even more mysterious. The mysterious HUD event on the Chang'e 4 mission also got a lot of attention. A picture sent by the U-22 rover of what looked like a cube-shaped building on the moon's horizon was called the mysterious hut. This caused a lot of speculation until later pictures showed that it was actually a big rock, which people joked was the jade rabbit because of its shape. These findings and events show how mysterious the far side of the moon still is. As research continues, we can expect to find more interesting things that will help us learn more about Earth's neighboring planet and might even make us question what we think we know about the moon's geology and formation. China's U-22 rover recently sent back a strange and interesting picture of an unknown structure in the vast, empty scenery of the moon. A cube-shaped building was seen at the top of the horizon and was named the Mysterious Hut. This caused a lot of talk and speculation about whether it was old space equipment from earlier missions or a part of something from another world. The rumors were at their strongest until a later message from U-22 made things clear. The strange cube that looked like a hut was actually a big rock that people called the Jade Rabbit because it looked so much like a rabbit. This new information ended the argument and shattered both theories about aliens and ideas about people living on Earth in the past. Not only that, but the U-22 also found clear glass spheres on the far side, which sparked interest and led to more and more ideas of alien activity. Glass on the moon is not a completely new finding. It has been seen before and was usually thought to be caused by meteorites hitting the moon or volcanic activity in the past. The unusual features of the glass that U-22 experts recently found make it stand out in contrast to the usual glass formations found on the moon. These examples show important differences. To begin, the glass spheres that were found are much bigger than those that are usually seen. In addition, their unique light brown color and ability to be see-through add another layer of mystery to their makeup. Could these be natural things or things from other worlds? There's more. If this wasn't enough to get your attention, during the 1969 Apollo 10 mission, Eugene Cernan and John Young heard a strange hum as they flew around the dark side of the moon. The sound was said to last for an hour and sound like someone humming. According to NASA, it was just radio interference. However, some ideas say it could be evidence of alien activity. Even though it sounds crazy, this might be true. We already talked about how the moon blocks radio waves from reaching the dark side from Earth. We don't have the right technology to find out if there is life on the far side of the universe, sending radio messages. Even though most of the claims about strange buildings found on the moon's surface aren't true, they keep people guessing about what might be on the far side of the moon. The glassy shapes and strange humming sounds on the moon may seem like random events, but could they be signs of something more sinister? That's not the end of the list. There are also some secrets about the moon that not even scientists can fully explain yet. There are many interesting things that people have seen on the moon over the years, but one of the most well-known is the transient lunar phenomena, TLPs, which are strange flashes or glows of light that show on the moon's surface for short periods of time. Astronomical records show that the first written records of lunar eclipses which are also known as changes in the brightness of certain places on the moon's surface, date back to the 9th century. While the word transient lunar phenomena was used before the 20th century, it became official in that decade. There is still no clear answer to this question. After years of study and research, 
TLPs are still a mystery to scientists. Many ideas have been put forward to try to explain where TLPs came from, but each one contradicts the one before it. A lot of people think that the TLP might be caused by meteors, which are rocks that hit the moon's surface and release energy that can cause short bursts of light and heat. One of the many ideas and theories being talked about is whether or not this event could be caused by volcanic activity on the moon. Some scientists think that there may be molten pools below the moon's surface, even though most scientists believe that the moon's surface is geologically inactive. When these pockets explode or release gas, the brightness changes, which is seen as a transient lunar phenomenon, TLP. Most scientists think that the moon's surface is geologically dormant because there have been no volcanoes for a very long time. However, if the rumors are true, it would be a huge discovery that would change everything we thought we knew about the moon's structure and our perception of it. If this idea turns out to be true, it will have far-reaching effects beyond science, giving us a whole new view on the moon's origin, its past, its evolution, and its future. It would also explain the moon's strange surface features and the presence of unusual minerals and rocks if there was volcanic activity. Another important reason why the dark side of the moon is crucial for exploration is that it is an ideal location for early sensitive investigations, as it is shielded from Earth's radio waves and not disrupted by ground transmissions. Scientists hope that using this lunar position will yield new and useful information that will further enhance exploration. Humanity has made significant strides in space research, helping us better understand the galaxies. Exploring the dark side of the moon is just the beginning of this journey. How much further will this search go? Will it end when we find life from other planets? Share your thoughts below and click like if you want to see more.